right there one two three click and one two three click all right welcome back once again to Patchman secrets of jewelry design using Rhino he had a request for uh, one tutorial on uh, shared prong stone cutter I'm gonna show you how to make a stone cutter this is probably one of my best creations I've one of them. That's put up one of my best creations that I've thought of. Some of uh, the softwares have already uh, stone cutters in there, uh, but Rhino does not come with any. So I prefer to make my own, and that way I'm in control of everything. That's done. So we're going to make a stone cutter first and use uh, shared prongs. What I did, I imported my stone. It's approximately it's a one carat diamond stone. Let's go over here, make a circle from center we have our snap on we'll go to the center and we'll drag out let's turn our snap off now that we've got our picked up our point and let's make it the same size as the diamond and left click it highlight your circle now we'll go over here to the top viewport double click it left and now we'll come down to the front viewport double click it to expand it to full screen over here we're going to extrude that right click it and left click extrude we're going to extrude it both sides no cap yes we'll take it up to the, about the top of the stone and left click it there's your extrusion the yellow line is your initial curve we can delete that if we like we'll cut that now we're going to over here right click it open this window sub window we're going to right click this icon that opens up this window right here now we're going to extrude solid to a taper left click it now let's click on our solid surface right there and there is our surface we'll click that now click enter as you can see it's following the cue out of the stone only because I had played with the draft angle you play with the draft angle until you get it to line up perfect now drag it down whatever you like uh, we'll just do it for there for right now this is entirely your decisions what you do so left click it and there's that part of it let's do this one more time extrude solid but this time or extrude surface this time we're gonna click this one straight click the surface here right there that indicates our surface enter and extrude it down this will be whatever dimension you want that to be let's just put it right there for right now now let's boolean union right here left click it and let's click all of our three pieces we just made this one one two that one and three click enter now they are all boolean union we're gonna go up to the top view click this twice let's go to our top view click that twice and let's draw one more circle from center with our snap on and we'll go here it doesn't matter how big you make it let's just make it that big highlight your circle once again left click it twice and let's pull that over a little bit we will extrude this straight up and down straight up whatever dimension you want let's just pick it there it doesn't matter pick it there that yellow line is your initial curve let's cut it now one more time booyah union booyah union left click click this part click this part enter now you have one cutter think about this cutter when you use it it will leave a stone in place when you use it it will leave a stone in place now go back to the top view let's pick on our stone only we can find it there is our stone right there let's copy it from the point and let's just drag it over right we can turn snap off right now let's just pick it keep ortho on move it over if you want to put it right there that's fine okay there it is 
Now what we're going to do, we're going to make a prong. A shared prong that we'll use one prong to hold secure each stone. So let's take our center circle. Just find a spot. Okay? You're the judge. Let's make a nice prong though. Let's just do it like we'll do it like that. Let's just turn off ortho for a minute and adjust this how we like it. Where we want it. I'll just call it there for right now. Okay, let's extrude this surface. Go back to level click the top view. We're going to extrude this. Right here, extrude. Click that. And let's go both sides this time. And let's just do it about a little bit higher than the diamond. Because you have to cut that down anyway when you set the diamond. So let's just go right there. There's your initial curve. Let's cut that one more time. Now, highlight your prong. Go over here. Right here. Well, I think it's right there. Right click. There we go. And we're going to go to mirror right here. Left click mirror. Start of mirror plane. Well, let's put it right there. We could go with our snap and our with our ortho on. Let's turn off snap. And right there, keep ortho on. And there is your other prong set right there. Just wanted to get those together. Now let's delete this. We'll cut that out there. Now we have our prong set up right there for our uh, shared prong. What we're going to do is this. We're going to highlight all these. We're going to copy it right here. Let's take it to the top viewport. And let's go from snap in the center. And let's just bring this over to wherever you want that. Let's turn snap off one time. And there we'll butt those up together and we'll do it again. Let's do it one more time. There. Now, I'll do it. Let's just cut this right there. And for sake of discussion, let's uh well, let's see if we can just cut this part. We're going to cut those. Now, here is your cutters. Now I'll just to test them out here. Let's see how they work, okay? Let's make a box. Right here, the box. We'll draw a box right there. It doesn't well let's turn off this ortho and snap stuff. Doesn't matter, we're just doing a test. So we make your box there as your and let's go back to, down to the front view. You can see it right there. Now there's your box. Now let's do a Boolean difference and we'll see what happens. Here, right click it. Boolean difference right there. Let's pick our surfaces that we want to keep. We want to keep this. We want to keep the prongs of course. So we're clicking those on the top view. And we're going to click it. Right click it. Second set of surfaces or poly surfaces. Let's just window click th the cutters and right click. And we have our prongs here and our perspective viewport. Let me turn off the grid one time. Turn off the grid. Okay. And let me change that up a little bit. And there you have your prongs. Now if you want, we'll pull a stone off. As you can see, you have your holes cut through it, your seats are cut, your prongs are there. Now use your own imagination and you make your own cutter and that's how you can make a shared prong setting.